What's good, YouTube? I go by the name Deadless Fitteds, and today, well, this week is fight week, and today you're gonna hear my predictions and breakdowns of all these fights. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Uh, I have my my uh, primary camera in the shop right now, so I'll just bear with me before, uh, so I can, uh, so when I do come out, come back with my camera, I'll be giving you more more videos. But yeah, and more content. But yeah, that's all. so let's start off with, with the breakdown of UFC 281. One of one of the most anticipated cards for myself. I always love watching Zhang Weili fight. So let's start off with the Michael Chandler and the Dustin Poirier fight. This is going to be a slugfest. And I, I feel um, Chandler... Will will rock um, Dustin Poirier at the beginning, but I feel uh, Justin Poirier will catch that, uh, will gain his legs back, and um, he'll win by TK. Uh, he'll win by knockout. I feel uh, third or second round. Okay, next, let's go with uh, the Zhang Wei Li and Carla fight. This fight is going to be a, a, another. Uh, it's like uh, I feel when Zhang Weili fought Andraj, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be similar to that, but this time you're going to see Zhang Weili 3.0 with her wrestling and grappling. And she's always that type of fighter where she always wants to beat a fighter at their own games. That's just how I start to see her her um, with her game plans. So I feel that Zhang Weili is going to show a, a side of her wrestling and grappling she's been doing a lot of uh um a lot of uh training extra training on her on her brazilian jiu-jitsu and her grappling so i feel that's gonna shine in this fight so with that fight i'm going with jang wei li first round submission via rear naked choke or arm bar and that rear naked choke is just because after you see the video you're watching off UFC 281 embedded, just watch Zhang Li train when she's doing this training right here at this point of the video. And that spin right there is what she's gonna, you know, is the beginning of the end of of uh, of uh, Carla. And the main event, yes sir, we got the style bender Israel Adesanya versus Alex Pereira. Alex Perrier. Wow, yeah, I think I'm saying it right. But yeah, those two right there. Like, me, I'm not... Like, I've never really... I liked Izzy when he first was coming on the scene. But nowadays, I just find him. He's just... um, He talks a good game. He's a cool dude. But, um... Yeah, he just... I don't know. It's just... He doesn't deliver sometimes. Like, some of his fights are really boring, you know? And like you said, like, he's not there trying to be a punching bag in anywhere. He's just, you know, he he mixes it up to a point where he, he plays safe, you know? And um, that's one of the things uh, I feel that is going to... Is going to try to... Um, is going to change his game plan because... He has something to prove with Alex Pereira to himself that he wants. So I feel he's going to be more aggressive in this fight. But that, where I feel is going to, where he's going to get caught lacking again. You know what I'm saying? So I feel that Israel Adesanya is going to get knocked out either second round or fourth round. I'm going for two to the two, 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 second or third or fourth. One of those three rounds. But he's getting knocked out though. But those are my predictions and my breakdowns. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be coming out with more content. Just stick, stay tuned, you know. Uh, just waiting for my camera to come back from the shop. And, yeah, you know, just tune in. If you have any uh, comment, down, if you have any questions or, you know, you want to, you know, have a debate over something, you know, comment down below. But, yeah, I go by the name Dallas Fitteds. Thank you for watching and peace out.